This screencast shows how to calculate the maximum amount of work that can be extracted from a steam turbine using tabulated values of enthalpy from the steam tables. So the first thing to do is draw a diagram of the system. So I'll draw a turbine and to the turbine we're feeding steam at one kilogram per second at 6 MPA and 350 degrees C. And coming out of the turbine, we have the same mass flow rate, 1 kilogram per second, but now we're at 0 0.1 MPA and some temperature that we don't know. And in the turbine, we're going to be extracting some amount of work. So the key thing about this problem is that the maximum amount of work that can be extracted from a turbine is when the turbine is operated reversibly and adiabatically. And that happens when delta S is equal to zero. So we should go to the steam tables and not only take out enthalpy values, but entropy values as well. So we'll calculate first the enthalpy and entropy of our feed stream. So let me pull up the steam tables at 6 MPA and let's see if we can find the values of H and S. So here's our steam tables at 6 MPA and we can then scroll down to 350 degrees C and see that the enthalpy is equal to 3044 kilo, kilojoules per kilogram and entropy is 6.34 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So this is 3044 kilojoules per kilogram and this was 6.34 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So now we have to find somewhere in the steam tables where the enthalpy of steam at 0.1 MPA is equal to 6.34 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So let me pull up the saturated steam tables and we'll see if we can find this. So these saturated steam tables are sort of hard to read just because there are so many more entries in the table. But we basically have saturated conditions at different pressures. And I've already cropped the table so at the bottom we're at 0.1 MPAs, exactly what we're looking for. And if we look all the way on the right hand side of the table, we can see the entropy of the liquid, SL here, and we can see that the entropy of the liquid is 1.3. And that's lower than the entropy of our feed stream. So we don't have a pure liquid at saturated conditions. Similarly, we can look at the entropy of the vapor and scroll SV here up at the top and look all the way at the bottom and see that the entropy of the vapor is equal to 7.36 which is higher than the entropy of the feed stream. So we know the outlet isn't a saturated vapor at 0.1 MPA but rather it's a combination of saturated liquid and saturated vapor. So let's first take these values of the entropy 1.3 and 7.36 and pull those back to our notepad here. So if we look here coming out the S of the liquid is equal to 1.3 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and the entropy of the vapor is equal to 7.36 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So let's find the quality of the steam where the entropy is equal to the entropy of the feed stream of 6.34. So that's just using the lever rule. So if we just say that S2, so the entropy of stream 2 is equal to some quality times, or S of the vapor is easier, 
for quality then gives you the amount of steam plus 1 minus x times s of the liquid so x will be the amount or the fraction that's in the vapor phase and 1 minus x will be the amount that's in the liquid phase so we know that s2 has to be equal to s1 and if we solve this equation for x we find that x is equal to 0 0.83 so that means at the outlet we have 83 percent saturated steam at 0.1 MPa and then 17 percent saturated liquid at 0.1 MPa so we just now have to find the enthalpies of the liquid and the vapor at saturation conditions so that's going back to the saturation steam tables and finding the enthalpy values so we can find the enthalpy of pure saturated liquid is 417.5 and the same thing enthalpy of the vapor as 2675 so the H of the vapor was 2675 kilojoules per kilogram and H of the liquid was 417.5 so now we just have to find the enthalpy of the stream coming out H2 is just equal to x which is the fraction in the vapor times the enthalpy of the vapor plus the fraction in the liquid times the enthalpy of the liquid so that'll be 0 0.83 times 2675 2675 plus 0.17 times 417.5 and if we do this out, the enthalpy of the outlet stream is then equal to 2291 kilojoules per kilogram. So, to find the amount of work for an adiabatic compressor, work is equal to delta H. So that's equal to the enthalpy at the outlet minus enthalpy at the inlet. So, 2291 kilojoules per kilogram minus enthalpy at the inlet which is 3044 kilojoules per kilogram and that's equal to minus 753 kilojoules per kilogram minus 753 kilojoules per kilogram times one kilogram per second is equal to rounded minus 750 kilojoules per second.